Do you want sneaky fly biggie boys? I do too. Do you want to be less of an edge lord than the night lords? So do I. Do you want the perfect amount of edge lord that doesn't wear a fedora? Say no more. I've got all your knees for the super sneaky biggie boys to fight the traitors in 15 steps or less. I mean more, probably more. Step one, we're gonna base the entire mini in Rynix hide. Now you might say, why Rhinox hide on a black mini? Well, trust the process. We'll get to it later. Now for step two, we're gonna use iron warriors and we're gonna paint all the metal parts. For me, it was mostly the shoulders and the jump pack. Now, for the third step, we're gonna use a white and we're gonna paint the beaky helmet and the arms. Now we're gonna use Abaddon Black and we are going to fill in the little joint areas. And it's easier to do this if you thin down the black just a little bit with some water. Now we're gonna Agrax Earthshade the whole model. It's not necessary to go over the Rhinox Hide areas, but if you do, it's not a big deal. Once your Agrax Earthshade is all dried up, you're gonna go grab some Abaddon Black. I use a slightly bigger brush just because it's easier to blend. And we're gonna tap it all over the mini, like everywhere where you put Rhinox Hide. And we wanna keep away from the edges. That way there's a little bit of Rhinox Hide still kind of seeping through. Now, for the highlights on the black areas, we're gonna use Eshin Gray. First, we're gonna dry brush it on a paper towel first, and then we're gonna use that same technique of tapping it on the mini. We wanna focus on areas of highlights. Then if you want it to be a little bit brighter, just tap a little bit more often in that area to fill the paint in a little bit thicker.
Now, for those sweet, sweet battle damage, we're going to use Dawnstone Gray. We're going to water it down until it's like an ink-like substance, like you can see on my hand. And we're going to do little scratches and little chip marks throughout. I focus mostly along the shins of the mini and kind of like those bottom leg areas. Now, to enhance that battle damage even more, we're gonna use Iron Breaker. And I like to focus along the edges of the model, and then for the scratches, I go from the edge and pull away. So it kinda looks like these nice little gradual lines. It's also easier to use the side of your brush if you're struggling hitting those edges with it. Now, still using Iron Breaker, we're going to do highlights on the metal parts that we already painted earlier on. And I just kind of just did areas of highlights, like edges. Then if you want to do just a little bit of damage in it, I just added little scratches throughout. For the jump pack, I just focus on that top part for the highlight and then I pulled away randomly throughout the jump pack just on that top area and I left the bottom alone. Now, for those white highlights, we're going to use a white paint. We're going to focus mostly on the edges, then areas that you want to just be a little bit brighter, like on the helmet. Dry brush it first on a paper towel, and then just lightly go over it on the helmet. Now for scratches and chips on the white areas, we're gonna use Eshin Gray and we're gonna water down the paint until it's like an ink-like substance. And then we're just gonna make little dots for chips or little lines for scratches. Now for the eyes, we're gonna use Evil Sun's Scarlet and we're just gonna fill in those little eye areas. Now we're going to add just a little bit of Agrax Urshan on the very tip of a small brush. And we're just going to kind of focus it on those edges inside the eyes. So just tap the brush in there and kind of let it fill in. Now for a little highlight in the eye, we're going to use Troll Slayer Orange on a small brush and we're just going to put a little bit in each eye.
What are you still doing here? If you're here this long, go watch my next video or subscribe. Bye!